establishment of G.D. Goenka University has heralded a new era in the field of higher education. At the university, we have transcended the traditional ways of learning and focused on the new approach to learning that is interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary. This is pertinent in view of the fact that the world has almost started moving towards the third industrial revolution where a different kind of uh, skill set among all the professionals is required. Now to achieve this excellence in this changed environment, few things need to be done which we have ensured at our university. Uh, academic excellence according to us requires the following, the innovative teaching pedagogy, continuous faculty development, the state of the art infrastructure, the approach to learning has to involve students of uh, different programs because the real life uh, is not divided into watertight compartments. When you go to work, the students have to work with people from different disciplines and that is ensured through uh, interdisciplinary projects which the students have to take wherein they work with students of other schools and programs. Working like this brings them very close to real life. So uh, this is one of the unique features of our pedagogy. Among others, what we can particularly talk about are the industry relevant education, global outlook and interdisciplinary approach. These three pillars are what I would say are the key cornerstones of our education philosophy. Apart from this, uh, one thing which I believe that Indian higher education has somehow not attended to is uh, character building of students. Uh, in our education process, a uh, lot of emphasis is laid on this where each student is uh, made to work compulsorily on issues related to uh, social issues, wherein uh, they work on CSR projects, they visit old age homes, they visit orphanage, so that they are sensitized to the uh, needs and the condition of uh, underprivileged or deprived set of the society. Uh, this way, uh, this, this student inculcates certain uh, uh, virtues which are required for them to be a good citizen. Uh, we do it in an institutionalized way. Left on their own, uh, what happens normally students do not pay attention to this and they do not work on these areas. And therefore, uh, the project undertaken in an institutionalized way uh, make them work on these projects and at the end what we uh, find that students have inculcated in them some good virtues which make them good uh, citizens. Uh, as far as the, uh, the infrastructure is concerned, the management of the institution has to provide world class uh, infrastructure, no doubt about it. But as faculty members and as the administrators, we have to work in a very coherent manner. As a leader, what best I can do is that I can paint a picture of the future which is beautiful and then motivate the team members to reach there. And what I have found is that if you give constant support to the faculty, if you are able to motivate students to learn what you want them to learn, that future is very easy to achieve. And what I normally call this philosophy as uh, winning the princess. A princess resembles the beautiful future and the students are uh, made to achieve or win that princess and whatever efforts are required to be undertaken for this, uh, we as a team, we have been able to achieve that. The uh, vision of GD Goenka University is to uh, produce professionals which will be serving the society of tomorrow. As I mentioned, the third industrial revolution is what will shape the future and to equip our students with the skill set to work efficiently in that environment is what we uh, tend to achieve. And this will require the following, the analytical skills, the governance, the character of the students because tomorrow's economy, tomorrow's society will require uh, professionals with entirely different skill sets compared to what it was in yester years and we are committed to deliver that kind of uh, professionalism to our students which will make them, uh, make them relevant for the future which I mentioned uh, through the third industrial revolution which is different from the yester years.